so let's look at the problem we have with subsidy remover and the exponential increase at the price of petrol from something around 190 naira to 617 naira at the moment well when subsidy was first removed the price went to something around 500 naira per liter but as we speak just some days back is now at 617 to 650 in some areas and a lot of people have attributed this to the fault of the president now let's say it is the fault of the president is it really his fault well all three presidential candidates like i could remember they all said they will remove fuel subsidy they said it is calm. They said Nigeria cannot continue to fund it. And I can remember even Peter Obi, that was massively loved by the youth, also said the same thing. Atiku said the same thing. Peter Obi said during an interview with Channel Television, he said, I can assure you it will go immediately. Subsidy. I have said it before. It's organized crime, and I will not allow it to stay a day longer. Consistently maintained that we need to remove subsidy. Because for me, it's organized crime. People were just stealing the resources of the country. And that crime has to stop. And I showed my own position in empirical data to show that the amount of fuel we consume is totally far ahead what we are supposed to consume. I showed it in data comparing with countries like Pakistan, and it's very clear. So I maintain that it's removed. Okay, so if all of them say they are going to remove subsidy, that means removing subsidy is something that will definitely happen, irrespective of the precedent we have. Then, if that is the situation, then we now want to say what is now the what is going on right now why is the price going up why is it fluctuating well the nmpcl group chief executive officer mr kiari he attributed the rise in the petroleum pump price in the country to market forces and when he was speaking to journalists he said that the deregulation of oil sector market are market realities and market realities is going to force the price of petrol up sometimes and it will force it down sometimes he said they have a marketing wing of the company that adjust prices depending on market realities and this is what he has to say he says this is really what is happening this is the meaning of making sure that the market deregulates itself so the price will go up and sometimes they will come down also this is what we have seen and in reality this is how the market works he said i don't have the details at this moment you know we have marketing wing of our company they are just prices de depending on the market realities and and this is really what is happening. this is the meaning of uh, getting sure making sure that the market regulates itself so that you know prices will go up and sometimes they will come down also and this is really what we are seeing in, in, re in reality this is how the market the market works no, talking and, about market forces yeah. demand and supply does it mean we don't have enough supply for this no there's no supply issue completely uh, it is not a supply when you go to the market you buy the product you come to the market and sell it at its ongoing uh it's probably market price nothing to do with supply we don't have supply issues there are a robust supply. We have over 32 days of uh, supply in the in country. That's not a problem. What assurances are you giving to Nigerians? Because we are in the middle of this. Uh, what, what do you mean? What assurances are you giving to Nigerians you know, in addressing the situation as it starts? Yes, uh, what I know is that uh, the market forces will regulate the market. Prices will go down sometimes. Sometimes it will go up. But there will be stability of supply. And I'm also assuring Nigerians that uh, this is the best way to go forward so that we can adjust prices when uh, market goes. I don't have the details this moment, but I know that our marketing wing acts just like every other uh, company in, the, in this business. I know that a number of companies have imported petroleum products to the PMS. Uh, so many of them are online. I'm sure my colleague uh, will, will confirm this. So 
market policies have started to play. People have started having confidence in the market and the uh, private sector people are now importing product. But there's no way they can recover their costs if they cannot take market reflective costs. All right. The GMB just made mention that the market forces are in play. What does this mean for an average region? Well, uh, as a regulator, you know, I told you uh, back in May that we are not going to be setting price. The market will determine itself. And as you saw back in early June, when, uh, when prices came out, it was based on the cost of importation plus other logistics of distribution and of course the profit margin by the importer. This market is uh, deregulated, it's open to all participants. As I mentioned also yesterday uh, when I was in Lagos, we had over 56, or we have 56 marketing companies that applied for and obtained licenses to import. Out of those, 10 of them have indicated to supply within the third quarter, which is July, August, September. And out of those, already we received some cargoes from uh, some of these marketers. Prudent Energy, uh, AOM Shafa, and uh, Emadev. Emadev cargo is arriving tomorrow. So this is like just an encouragement to see that the market is liberated and everyone is free to import so long you are working within the framework, especially in terms of quality. But the pricing, as a regulator, we are not going to put a cap on the price because we are not part of those importing. We are not a marketing company, we are just a regulator. So when you see market forces are, are working, but basically what it is is that you buy, you can see the price of crude going up. A couple of weeks, a week or so ago, the price of crude was hovering around $70 per barrel. Now it's hovering about $80 per barrel. So of course the crude price also drives the product price. You know, because uh, 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 the importers are importing, they are basing it on the cost of importation plus the freight, plus other cost uh, elements or in terms of local distribution. Now, so what is actually happening is due to market forces and because petroleum is no longer subsidized so we should expect it going up and coming down so it's not the fault of the president that is what it means now i'm not siding the president but let us look at another thing that i've thought about and senator seusani also tweeted the same thing and that is another thing that is affecting the price of petrol at the moment here is what he has to say. He said petroleum is imported with foreign currencies. If the value of the foreign currencies goes up, the price of petroleum will go up, especially now with the removal of subsidy. This is the energy and economic reality we have to live with until manners comes or miracles happen. Remember, we have crude oil, but we don't refine in Nigeria. Okay, so we have to send it out and buy it back with dollar current dollar rates and you know naira keep falling so what do you expect if the price of transporting fuel to the country is high the price at which it will be sold will also be high so dollar rate is another thing you want to consider subsidy has been removed and what is happening to dollar we affect it market forces we affect it now with demand and supply also affected uh, yes, but according to the DG, uh, he said fuel will always be available. So if it is always available, then there is always enough supply to meet the demand. But something like foreign currencies can actually trigger it up. Okay. So this is another one. Uh, NNPC GMD uh, said this last month. Okay, if this is the problem, why can't we stop taking our crude oil outside the country for refining? I'm bringing it back since we now have Dangote refinery. Now I'm still going to show you this video. You see, he said Dangote refinery will not cut down the price of petrol significantly. He said what is only going to do is that the price difference may just be about 30 naira per liter, all things being equal. He said, let me add that Dangote refinery will also have commitments to other countries. How will the Dangote refinery buffer as regards what Dangote refinery has an output and what we really need on ground? Uh, thirdly, I'd like to also know the data yeah, on how the, you pull out, all right? What you pull out, uh, as in what you take out of your stock or what people come to take out of your stock. Those three questions. As a wrap-up. I didn't get the last one. I didn't say, did you... I didn't get the last one around the stock. The, what did you say? The, what you, what's the evacuate from your stock on a daily basis? 
Or let me answer if, I, if there's any gap you can come in. First, uh, uh, let me thank you. Uh, first of all, I think it's a perfect opportunity to explain what domestic refining means. It's very important to understand this. There's this misconception that once you refine domestically, the price is going to crash to maybe half, half of the price. No, that's not correct. You know, uh, the distinction between uh, domestic price, processing and, and import is simply one thing. First, uh, two, I'm sorry, it's two things. First of all, it gives you security of supply. That means supply is by your door. You don't need 14 days that we typically need to move product from, say, Europe into Nigeria. So that goes away. You have access to this product. When you have any dislocation in your supply and distribution system, you have very, very little time. You, have, you, have, you require just very short time for you to regulate this and, and, and move around. So it gives you security of supply. This is the number one thing it does. And, and secondly, it does another thing. It creates a, a market around it employments, taxes, and very many other sort of benefits that will come to the country. Now, when it comes to the price of the commodity itself, remember that petroleum is priced at international price, so it doesn't have local pricing. Therefore, at the get of the refinery, you are typically pricing it as if you are taking that product at, uh, at Rotterdam or Amsterdam. That means that the conversion of FX uh, determining the market value is determined by the international, international market now. So, but there will be a delta. That delta is the cost of freight from your import location into your country. That will substantially come down. And therefore, you will see a difference in price as a result of the freight difference, which is typically around 21 to 27 naira to take a liter from, say, Rotterdam into Nigeria. And also, some value in, in local refining, in, in the sense that probably lower cost of labor and so on, and that you can have another margin of 2 to 3 naira that can come as a result of that. So ultimately, at high prices, the distinction is there, but it's not significant. And so what you have to understand is, even though we don't have to sell it out and buy it back, if we are using Dangote refinery, there is a lot of supplies he has to make. But let's say it's even supplying Nigeria. There is uh, an international price that each barrel they produce, they must sell it at. Okay? So, but issue of dollar rate will not be able to affect it. And that's why you can be able to have like 30 naira or, or more or lesser uh, in the price difference compared to people that have to go and buy from outside. So is it now the fault of the president? Or is it just the reality of mismanagement of previous government up to this moment? What do you think?